Tomorrow is again again. I'm take them to the market and sell them. Please, any amount they price the goods, sell it. Sell them. When I come back from the market, my man, Obi, my man. Oh, 
Your goats? Yes, two of them. Is it true that you two young men stole this woman's goats? Your Majesty, I wasn't involved in the stealing. He stole the goats and asked me to sell them in the market for him. So you are the main culprit, the main thief, and you are just an accomplice? Yes, Your Majesty. We cannot have this sort of thing going on in this kingdom. You will be punished for today. Woman. Your Majesty. Take your goods. Your and Majesty. Go home. Thank you. You will live long. My goods. Jibike. Mama. Come, let's eat our Thank you, Your Majesty. You will be punished for this misdemeanor. If I ever hear of you to anybody else in this kingdom stealing, you will be banished for life. Is that clear? Guards, take them, tie them hands and feet, and give them. 36 lashes each, 36 strokes of the cane. That would be a good punishment for you. And a sign for all of you. Where are you off to? I'm going to see my fine friend. Where's the kingdom? Oh, where's the kingdom? Okay. Just take care of yourself. And we're about to come back on time, okay? I want to go to the bank and carry out some transactions. Oh. Uh -huh. nah. Do you know that one of those boys brought in here by the youths yesterday is um, Iroma's brother? The ones that stole that woman's goats? Yes. The main person that stole that woman's goats is actually Iroma's elder brother. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mommy, are you serious? So this is how I would have ended up being an in-law to a criminal. But God did not allow that. Hmm. Anyway, go to the bank. When you come back, we'll continue with this conversation. It's all right, Mom. We made the right decision after all. Daddy needs to hear that. 
Catch you, mom. All right, darling. Oh, on your mind, a chick up. Oh, on your mind, a sick up. Where's it? A chick, a chick, dime. is this now? Eh? I thought that he said he, he just services this car. What kind of temptation is this? to catch. No, 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 I'm stuck here. He told me that he just serviced this car. And what, what am I supposed to do with this car? I have an appointment to catch. What's all this now? Yeah? How can you service this old car and you're messing me up? You're just messing me up for nothing. What kind of disgrace is this now? Everybody will just Pass and be and be and be watching me. What kind of a disgrace is this? What's the meaning of this rubbish now? Eh? You 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 cannot even change this old car. This old car. Eh, eh, this old car. If I knew I, I wouldn't have come out with this car. When you have your own, eh? I'm not driving this car again. I'm not driving this this old car again. If he's not going to buy me another one, me I'm not I'm not, I'm not going anywhere again. Eh? What kind of what kind of old car is this now? I, I will start be managing managing. If I I, I I shouldn't have come out with this car. What kind of bad luck is this? What kind of bad luck is this? What kind of bad luck is this? Hi. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is wrong with your car? I don't know. I don't know. I was just driving, you know. All of a sudden, he started jerking and, and, and he stopped me here. Now I'm stuck here. Eh? And I have an appointment to keep. I need to catch up my appointment. Eh? My friends are waiting for me. It's okay. Let's check the... I, even, my dad he even told me that he serviced this car. That he just serviced it. Now, how come he, is that possible? He, he stopped me here. Car that they just serviced. This old car. It's an old car. It's an old car. And now he stopped me. All right, all right, calm down. Let's check the car. Know what's wrong with it. I won't even drive. He has a fleet of cars, eh? And I'm managing this one. I won't even drive it again. Where's the car? Key? I don't even know why I dropped it. Me, I'm frustrated. The ignition is not coming on. Eh, that's it now. It means it's a huge problem, eh? Don't worry. Let me check something. It's okay, be calm, okay? It's okay. Oh, the battery had pulled out. Mm. Yeah, it pulled out. Oh, well, he told me he fixed all these things. Now, do you have a, a spanner in your car? I don't know where they keep all those things. I, I don't know. Uh, um, I don't have either. Okay. Or let me just use the. <clears throat> okay. Can you start the car for me? Uh -uh. Just start it. Yeah, you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you so 
much. Thank you so it's much. Okay, it's you okay. just saved me a lot of stress. It's okay. It's cool. Thank you. It's cool. Um, please, what can I offer you? Nothing. Anything. Money. Money. Anything. Just mention it. Nothing. I had to help. Okay. Are you sure? No, no. Don't worry. Eh? Ah, you're so kind. Right on. You have an appointment to catch up with. So. Thank you so much. So, Thank you. Just be good. Eh? Thank you. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Right on. Is, is, you messed up everything. You messed up everything. How? You, you, you shouldn't have brought you to my house. Hi. Obi. You expected me to carry your clothes for you? Yes, now. Yes, now. Are you not my friend? What are friends for? Eh? Hi. Hi. Obi, you're very heartless, you. If I'm truly your friend, as you claimed, why did you set me up? Eh? You should have told me that you stole the goods so that we know, I will know how to uh, operate in the market. You're here blaming me. Look at my nose. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, if, if I had told you that they were stolen, you wouldn't have helped me and set them in the market. It won't happen again. Take me, take me to one or two joint. Then you buy me beer, uh, agidi and pepper soup. Before we, I will forgive you. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I'm, you can see I'm serious. I'm, I'm not laughing. <laughs> Eze, you are funny. You should have told me that you are hungry. Eh? Oh, fine. I will take you to one of your child's joint. Buy you beer. I get it and prepare soup. Abby? Yes. Come on. Do you know what you cost? <laughs> Hi, babe. You surprised me. <laughs> You're too secretive, I swear. You didn't even mention that. You're a princess. <laughs> yes. I... Intentionally made it to highly class power. Because <laughs> then in school, I couldn't bear people addressing me as a blue blood. Ah, come on, B. What are you talking about? Don't you know that if you had disclosed your status to us then on campus, you would have been the most respected student in our faculty? That is exactly what I was avoiding. Because the respect and recognition I would have gotten. They have also made my poor friends who were more intelligent than I to disassociate themselves from me. Wow. Eh, 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 but, eh, I'll be your babe. You for even whisper small to my hearing alone. You know, say I'm not going to tell anybody. Not for you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to sorry for not telling you of all people that I'm not Okay, my princess. Ah. <laughs> you. <laughs> of course. Let me start addressing you as my princess now. <laughs> oh. Can you watch? Big bro, you back? Um, Mirabel, here is my big brother, Prince Afamifna, the obvious inheritor of my father's throne. Um, big bro, here is Mirabel. She's my best friend. We went to the same university. We studied the same course and then we graduated at the same time before she traveled to Dubai. What is going on here? I just introduced you guys. Not even a handshake. We already know each other. What? Yes. I met him before. I met him on the road when my car broke down. He helped me fix it. Really? 
Yeah. Well, Mirabel, welcome to my house. Let me ask you. Your brother is such a nice guy. You can say that again. What a twist of fate. I feel good for now, my son. Daddy. I have called you here to remind you of something you may have forgotten. What is it, Dad? Isn't it about time you started making arrangements? For us to go and pay the bride price for Iroma. It's only a few days to the date we give them. Daddy. The truth is that I am no longer interested in marrying that girl. Afamifu. Is that a slip of the tongue or something? Not at all, Dad. I am so serious about this. I have come to realize that we are not of the same class. I mean, Daddy, Iroma is from a poor family. She's not even educated. Come on, Dad, can't you see? We are not of the same class. Famefuna, has something come over you? Have you forgotten how that girl pampered you? How she loved and cared for you even where you were on a wheelchair. You proposed to her and she accepted. Now you want to abandon her? No. Never. Come on, Dad. Dad, you need to understand something now. You need to understand that I was carried away by infatuation. That was why I asked her to marry me. Come on, Dad. Take a good look at me, your son. The prince of this kingdom, a big baller. How could I have ever gone extreme with that village poor little girl? You must be very stupid to have said that. Maybe you should sit back and think how you got healed. If you cannot see in broad daylight, how can you see in the darkness of the night? Even a small ant can hurt a large elephant. Do you expect me as your father and king of this community to speak from both sides of my mouth? Or to spawn out a spittle and lick it back with my tongue? No, no, my son. You must finish what you started. Now get out of my sight. Get out, I say. Away. Onye ma iye chikabu Owe onye ma isikabweze Echi Echi dime Koro wanazu Owe Onye ma iyo gamuta Munage I know it the same level oh I won't even move a door. I keep putting kuo, but my taba, it is too local for my liking. Come joga juju. Mommy, what's going on? You don't look cheerful. What is it? Um, that just reminded me of Iroma. What did he say about her? He said I must marry her that her prayers healed me. Oh my goodness. How could your father have said a thing like that? I, your mother, have been praying for you. Everybody has been praying for you. Why would your father give Iroma the credit? Why? 
Listen, let me tell you something. God can decide to heal anybody anytime. He can use anyone to heal people. Why is he giving you Rama the credit? You know what? I'll talk to him now. You and I are not on the same level, oh. You're too local for my liking. Child, your father is a palm wine taba. You are not in my class. Let me ask you a question. Did you create her? Oh, did you create yourself? It is God that put you in your position of power. So humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Ejikema uh. is really a good palm wine tapper. He certainly knows what he's doing. And that is why you want our son to marry his daughter? Not only that, Yuruoma is a very beautiful girl with a wonderful heart. She's an angel walking the surface of this earth. My husband, the way you praise this girl marvels me. You don't even know that they have a criminal in their family. Criminal? Okay, sir. I understand that you have this phobia against girls from poor backgrounds. But I do. My husband, I believe we want the best for us. Then let's tread cautiously. Because this aroma of a girl has a brother who was brought into this palace couple of days ago because he stole someone's coats. Are you saying that one of the boys who stole the goats is Yuroma's brother? Yes, my husband. That's bad. But why should Ejikeme allow his son to constitute himself a nuisance in the community? Is it that does not change the fact that Roma is a good girl? Well, my king, I am not disputing that. All I'm saying is for us to allow our son to make his choice. Yes, he has already made a good choice by proposing to her. So let him marry her. Stay here, son. Yes. Were you able to convince that? Not yet. He still insists you will marry your own man. But son, don't let it bother you. Okay? He is my husband. I know how to convince him. Just keep searching. Let me know when you find your missing. Thank you very much, Mom. You're welcome. Cheer up, son. Okay. Love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Mm -hmm. Just cheer up.
I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Why you're smiling like this? What is it? I want to ask you for a favor. Ah, uh -huh. I knew it. I knew you were up to something. Tell me, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I know you. You know what? I'll do it for you. But I know. How much? Hey. Yes, you need to pay me. What's up with women and how much? <laughs> <laughs> you need to pay me, that's all. <laughs> you know you owe me five hundred naira. I will slap your elbow. Which five hundred? I never win you two times. Which 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 of two times? Well, you get picked too. Yes, officer, arrest him. What's happening here? Huh? What did my son do? He got my daughter pregnant and made out her body. Now my daughter is there. Oh, what? Is it true? Why do you want to send me to an lady grave? What have I done to you, Obioso? What have I done to you? Hey! Well, I'm in the devil's work. Hey! Is there nothing we can do to settle this? Please, oh, sorry, Mr. Man. There's nothing we can do. Officer, do your job! Let's go! Please, do your job! Please, do your job! Please, do your job! Please, do your Please, How are you? I'm 
doing great, Mira. Um, I was wondering, will you be chance tomorrow? Yes, I will. Is there a problem? Oh, no. There's no problem. I just want us to hang out. Okay. So, where would I be? Um, five stars. Don't worry about the views. I'll take care of it. Wow. <laughs> this is serious. Okay, no problem. All right. No voila. We'll meet up now. Bye. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. <sighs> I warned Obiozo. I told him that abortion is never a good thing. But he wouldn't listen. Now he has gotten himself into trouble. What will I do now? I, I can't continue living the life of a thief. I can't. I have to confess my sins to God and repent. Make ourselves comfortable. Thank you. What do you care for? Um, Something. Yes, I'm out now. Can you hear me now? Okay. So, what did you say you were looking for? Key to the spider? Sure, I left it on the center table. Yes, yes, you will find it there. It's there. All right, Dad. Okay, take care. surprising themselves like especially when I am
Who's that? Ah! Oh. Hey, How are you? You have been scarce. Did you travel? No, I was sick. Yeah, hey, uh, sorry, yo. But I'm okay now, as you can see. I can see. <laughs> Is the prince around? No, you drove out. Everything, Everything is fine, just that it's been long I heard from you. <laughs> okay. No problem. No. come back. Okay. I'll take my leave now. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Who was that? Um, it's that girl, uh, Iru Oma, to check on the prince. <laughs> I have pictures for you. Really? What could that be? Mm. The prince of who is a kingdom asked me out. So what did you tell him? I accepted. Accepted? Of course I did that. Mm -hmm. He's caring. He's kind. He's loving. He's a gentle young man, Dad. I think I'm falling in love with him. <laughs> so, what will now happen to Eloka? Oh, please, Dad. Eloka can go to hell for all I care. After all, he abandoned me and traveled to Canada. What am I supposed to do? Continue waiting for him? No, Dad. I'm not getting any younger. Calm down, my daughter. Calm down. You may be right, my daughter, but I want you to think about it very well, okay? Daddy, I have thought about it multiple times, and that's my decision. Well, if you say so, I have no problem. So, when will you bring the young man? Let me first of all see him. Very soon, Dad. Very soon. There's no problem if you say so. Greetings, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you're welcome. As you came, man and wife. You're welcome, Your Majesty. How are you? We are fine, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Your Majesty, we have seats. Eh, we have seats. We have seats. Never mind. Um, I will soon be leaving. Well, I have come to warn Iroma not to come to the palace anymore. The prince is no longer interested in marrying her. I can see she is not at home at the moment. Deliver my message to her when she returns. Have a nice day.
You mean the queen came here to warn me? Yes, my daughter. And she sounded so serious about it. <laughs> did she say I did something wrong? No. I think they are indirectly looking for a way to cancel the marriage proposal. It is obvious. Because this is happening just two days to the date they gave us. Hmm? <laughs> but, but why all this? My daughter, do me a favor. Stop visiting the prince at the palace till we understand the tricks they are playing. Yes, my daughter. Your father is right. Eh? Stop going to the palace for now. Please. Stop going to that place for now. Biko. Oh? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Oh? Huh? Stop crying. It's okay. Thank you very much. Your house is fine. I love the sitting room. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you can say that again. Please do have a seat. <laughs> Welcome once again. Ah, thank you. A glass of juice will be cool with it. Okay. Here we are. Oh, thank you, baby. <sighs> baby, my dad has been longing to see you. Wow! I'm glad to meet you too. Yes. My boyfriend. His name is Prince Afamifna, the crown prince of the US Kingdom. Baby, meet my lovely dad. He's popularly known as Chief Nikeze. <laughs> Chief, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you too. You're yeah, welcome to my house. Thank you so much. You see, Mira has talked so much about you. So I asked her to invite you to my house so that we meet face to face. I talk and chat and laugh. <laughs> You're welcome once again. Thank you very much. Vera, please take care of him. My prince, feel comfortable. This is your house, okay? Thank you, sir. I will be my Come, baby. My dad is jovial. He can be trouble for my time, too. Don't get carried away. So, why didn't you get a glass for yourself? No, drink, drink. I'm okay. All right, have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 Mommy, Daddy, I have good news for you. Spill it. Well, we are all ears. I have found the woman of my dreams. Well educated and is worth spending my life with. And do you call that good news? When the girl to whom you have been engaged is languishing with heartache. Your Majesty, you're taking this first now. 
must be because you are encouraging our son to go and marry another girl, forgetting that the consequences of such an act are disastrous. Daddy, mommy is not the one encouraging me. I am old enough to know what I want. I, I mean, Dad, Iroma is not my class. I am no longer interested in marrying her. Roma is a beautiful girl. What she needs is some grooming. Spend a little money and time on her, and you'll be astonished at the sparkle of her beauty. Daddy, I don't have the whole time and the world to lavish on Iroma. That I'm the bone of contention here. I am the one to get married, and I have said I am no longer interested. I respect that decision. See that your mind is made up and you insist on going on with your plans. But if it is not that girl who has suffered so much for you, then count me out. Mommy, that is giving my joy. You don't understand. It's okay. Now, tell me more about the new dancer. Is she fair, dark, chocolate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mommy, she's classy and calm. As a matter of fact, she's Amaka's best friend. Really? Yes. <laughs> Mommy, they attended the same university and offered the same course. Wonderful. That means we've succeeded. Succeeded? Yes. Well, just leave it for me, okay? I'll take it off from here. Thank you, mommy. That's why I love you. Thank you, mommy. How are you? I'm fine. You are coming from this direction. Did you go to my house? Yes, so I met your mother. She told me that you went to the police station to take food to Obiozo. Yes. So how is he? He is not fine. So we need to see my brother. He is now very skinny. Dry. In fact, He's such a pathetic sight. It's Yoko. Sure. We are running around to gather money for his bill. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah? God will provide. Amen. Please come, come. I have something to do. There is something I've been meaning to tell you so that you will advise me. Chai, what is it? Do you know that the queen came to our house some days back? She said I should stop coming to the palace. That the prince is no longer interested in me. And since then I've been worried. Hi. But why would she say that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused about the whole thing, honestly. Yeah. But did the prince tell you that he's no more interested? No, I've not seen the prince for a long time. But the prince that I know will not say such a thing. Mm -mm. He is a nice man and he has been very nice to me. Then visit the prince. I hear from the house's mouth. Visit the prince I hear from him. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know I can always count on you. <laughs> Take care of okay, yourself. Bye. <laughs> Amaka. Yes, ma'am. You never told me that Afam's new girl is a friend. Yes. That's because Rafam asked me not to announce it until he makes it official to you and dad. Really? 
Do you know the girl's background very well? Yes. She's from a wealthy home. Her dad is the chief executive officer of um, Finmark Productions Limited. Though her mom is late. What about her character? Do you think she will make a good wife? Yes. Mirabel is a good girl. The only thing is that she likes material things a lot. She likes it when somebody takes her out and buys her beautiful things. Who doesn't? Well, that will not be a problem. Every woman loves beautiful things. <laughs> Mom, you can say that again. I know. Yeah. Um, Daddy? This is the picture of the girl I told you about. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, her name is Mirabel. She's Amaka's best friend. Chiamaka. Yes, Dad. Can you give an account of this girl? Um, Daddy, I've already given Mom her background details. Yes, she is beautiful. But remember, the main beauty of every woman is character. Daddy, believe me, Mirabel is a kind of girl you can't wait to meet. She has a good character. Well, since you approve, I have no problem with that. Thank you, Daddy. My king, Tiamaka has already attested that the girl is a wife material. All we need is your permission. It's okay. It's half a month's last choice. I grant my permission. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Daddy. I will invite her so you meet her one-on-one. -on -one. That's no problem. Oh, I dare go and come, 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 come. Hey, what's happening? Hmm. That man is fake. How do you mean? <laughs> Him and his friends stole from us the other day that we were coming back from the market. Really? <laughs> Wonder shall never end. He's even carrying a Bible. Maybe he now wants to be stealing from people. Then the Bible said, Thou shalt not steal. My sister, if you go near him, <laughs> you know he's fake. He will brainwash you, prophesy for you. Then he will ask you to pay him. What are you talking about? My sister, ask her. My dear, that man is a thief. Him and his friends stole from me and in Kechi the other day. Is it that one? <laughs> I once saw him at a K market selling two goods he stole. Uh, the villagers now caught him. Yes. Took him to Igwe's palace. Igwe now instructed they should give him and his friend 36 strokes of cane. Okali, how did you know? I was an eyewitness. I followed them from the market to his friend's house, from his friend's house to Igwe's palace. Radio without budget. From stealing. Network music. Mira, meet my lovely parents. Good afternoon, my king. Good afternoon, my queen. Mirabel, how are you? I'm also my queen. It's written all over you. <laughs> Mirabel, you're welcome. Thank you, my king. Afa. Daddy? She is gorgeous. I hope her heart is the same. 
I can bet on that, Daddy. <laughs> Beautiful. Then you are welcome anytime. Thank you, Daddy. Well, Mirabel, enjoy your stay here. Thank you, Mother. Have fun. Mommy? I'm upstairs with my husband. Okay, Mommy. You great. So, baby, do you need any help? I'm good. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Um, maybe you should take me back to your house. Okay. All right. Ah. <laughs> Roma, you are lucky today. The prince is around. Ah, thank you very much. You are welcome. What are you doing here? Eh? Didn't you get my mother's instruction? My prince, I, I, I just... I just... I just want... You just want what? Iguama, I don't need you anymore. Please. Wanted me to marry. But don't worry, I've gotten rid of her. Okay? She's history. Let's go. How do I look into what she does? Honestly, I didn't know that Prince Afamu would have the mind, the nerves to insult me the way he did. I regretted stepping my foot into that palace yesterday. Is your Hi. The prince should be ashamed of himself. He has forgotten that it was your prayer that elevated him from his wheelchair. Eh? Hey! Hey! He was just... Hey! 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 Iroma, or whatever they call you, I have come to warn you. Stay away from my man. Else, something drastic will happen to you. And who are you to drive into my compound to give my daughter such a severe warning? Hey! And who is talking? Okay. Since you want to know who I am, 
you can call me Mirabel, the next queen of this kingdom, your future queen. If you love your daughter, you know what Let me to do. Ask you a question. Did you create her? Oh, did you create yourself? It is God that put you in your position of power. So humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Uh, I do not use your position of power to insult people because nobody knows tomorrow no one knows who will be favored by god tomorrow humble yourself oh humble yourself nobody knows tomorrow who knows tomorrow no one Tomorrow is pregnant. Oh, hey, 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 so it has got into this. Iroma, you heard that. You heard that. This is the second time. Hey! What is the excitement all about? Daddy, you won't believe it. Okay, guess. Guess what? You won't believe it. You know, it. I'm not good in guessing. Okay. Hi, 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 oh. hi. <laughs> this is nice. I'm getting married, Daddy. You see, the prince asked me to marry him and I gave him a big yes. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, I'm getting married. I'm oh. so happy. That's good. <laughs> Daddy, you see, um, he said that he'll be coming with his people in three weeks' time to see you. <laughs> Beautiful. Of course. Let's go for a celebration. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's go inside and celebrate it. Oh, baby. Are we still traveling to the UK? Remember you said that we're going to visit there for our honeymoon? Yeah, I remember. But I don't think it's necessary anymore. Why? Because I told my dad about it. He wasn't comfortable with the idea. He said I am his successor. Therefore, I should stay back. I should stay close and get acquainted with the way he manages the affairs of this kingdom. Well, that's bullshit. We're talking about our honeymoon here. You must not be tied to your father before you get familiar with the way he rules or does his things. I, we just got married for crying out loud. See, we need each other's attention more than more than that, your throne. I know, honey. But Please, there's no box. Spare me the box. See, you need to take your decisions and stand by them. You are a man. Excuse me. Where are you going? You've just spoiled my mood. I need to 
to be alone? Stay here with your children. Quit singing your Chukwe Loka, is this you? Yes, Chief. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon. So, you still remember the road to my house after all this year you spent in Canada? <laughs> of course, Chief. I know the map to your house off hand. Sit down, sit down. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> so, what will I offer you? Don't bother yourself, Chief. Um, I'm okay. Chief, what of Mira? Why is she? Mira is in her husband's house. She's married? Of course, she is married. She got married to the Prince of Uru as a kingdom a few months ago. What? How could Mira do this to me, Chief? We promise not to leave each other. Chukwe Loka, you know, a distant relationship requires uninterrupted communication. She waited for you many years. At a point she got tired. She decided to forge ahead. Chief, I know all this, but something prompted that. I was having green card issue back then. I wouldn't just stop calling her just like that. Chukweloka, the deed has been done. There is nothing I can do about that again. Chief. Can I have a contact at least? Let me wish her happy married life. Of course. I, I will give you a number. You can take her number. 080. Mm -hmm. Love by her mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. I don't feel you. I'll tell me now. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> nice. I know I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? You soon find out. <laughs> Let me feed you. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. You're serious? I don't like that. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to take my own pineapple and feed myself. I'm going to feed yourself. Alright, let me feed you. Be serious this time. Open your mouth. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Give me now. Open your mouth now. Open it. <laughs> 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 so you think you're fast, right? Yeah, you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you see, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, you know, it's been long I I visited the club. So I'm wondering if we could go there and have some fun this weekend, you know? You see, baby, it is not possible. Have you forgotten we are supposed to live up to our status? I mean, what would people say when they see the future king and the queen of who is the king of the king? You see, your problem is that you always consider what people would say. Why do you like to displease yourself and please people? You don't have to blame me. I'm 
trying to exhibit the true quality you are a good leader. Damn you and your good leadership. I don't bloody care. You're pissing me off. Come on, baby. No. You're such a freak. Baby. Does she have a problem putting her ass in one place? One minute she demands to be taken abroad for a vacation. The next minute she wants you to take her to a club. Rubbish. Keep on giving me excuses. Sex. Who is giving me stupid, stupid stories? I can't continue taking this shit in this house. I can't. It has to stop. It has to stop. What's all this? Who is in this house? What's all this? Hello. Hello. Am I speaking with Mira? Yes, this is Mira. Who is this? Your boyfriend. Or oh, you can call me Luca. Chukwe huh. Luca. Is that you? Yeah. I flew in some days ago. And I went to your house, but your dad told me you are not married. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm married. I got married to the Prince of Ureza Kingdom. But I waited for you. I waited for you just as we discussed. But you stopped calling me. I had no other option than to forge ahead. <sighs> it's really painful. Yeah. It's very painful that you not belong to someone else. 
But that won't stop me from giving you the packages I brought for you. Wow. You bought me something. Are you serious or you're just joking? You know I can't joke with such things. I have beautiful stuff for you. Okay, thank you. So, where are you at the moment? I'm in my house. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, you know what? I'll give you a call on this number. Then, I'll let you know when we can meet. How about that? Alright, I'll be waiting. Take good care of yourself, my love. Ah, hearing this your love can never change. Look, I'm someone's wife now. <laughs> Bye. Ask you something about me. What is it? I don't understand her anymore. All the time she wants to go out. <laughs> That's um one of uh, Mirabel's hobbies. She likes her uh, shopping, traveling. And clubbing. But I didn't notice any of these while I was dating her. Well, I think that's because you didn't date her for long before you married her. <sighs> that is a very big problem for me. You know I'm not the outgoing type. And anytime I refuse to take her out, it becomes a big problem. Big problem. Mirabel is not your wife. Make her understand that she should be submissive to you. And as a future queen, of this kingdom, she should drop those her lifestyles. Make her understand that you are the man. Are you done discussing with your dad? Yes. He said I will accompany him to a meeting tomorrow. And you want to leave me all alone in this house? <sighs> Baby, I need you to understand that. No, 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 no problem. It's all right. You don't have to explain. I understand everything. Come on, let's sleep. It's okay.
Hello, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Um, please, can you meet me at the classy bar this evening? Sure, baby. I can, babe. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> Mira, my sweet angel, my baby, my lost and found love, baby, I really missed you. Oh, please, don't start now. You know what? I still can't believe you are married, let alone happily married without thinking of me. What? Hey, Luca, are you serious right now? Were you not the one that abandoned me and traveled to Canada without even a phone call from you? A word. Anyways, that's okay. That's right. We're not here for that. I am here because you asked me to come and get the goodies you got for me. Yeah, they're right there in my car. Thank you. So can I have them now? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not funny. See, I need to get home before my husband gets back. And it's getting late. <sighs> Relax, Mira. Relax, baby. I'm begging you. Please. Six years is not just six days. I need to spend quality time with you. Please. I love you. I want you. I need you. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, honey. say that I'm shocked. <laughs> Do you know why? Because I can't believe you're still this good in bed. Yes, because <laughs> I thought that all those chocolates and sweets you guys eat in Canada would have weakened you by now. <laughs> I must say I'm surprised. <laughs> No, no. I'm always yes, galant, baby. You're in bed, really. Yeah, I'm always galant. <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah I see. <laughs> so, what yeah. about your husband? What He's also I? good in bed. Please, that one. He's good, I must confess. But the guy is so boring. I asked him to take me out. He will start yearning, future king and queen, you can't be seen in public and all that. You know, like, the guy is so stiff. He doesn't hang out. <laughs> he doesn't club. My God, I find it so, so boring staying at home. Any words? Oh. It's all your fault. How is that my fault? You should have waited for me. Oh, please, don't start again. You should have waited for me, baby. 
All right, let's go out of the road. <laughs> Hey, bro. What's up? Did my wife tell you where she was going? Uh -uh. Why don't you call her line? I have called her several times, but her number is not reaching. So she didn't tell you where she was going? To. She didn't. She didn't either. I will be my room. your face like this. Where the hell are you coming from? I went for shopping. See what I got myself. All this. Take a look. Whoa. And why didn't you tell me you were going out? Because I wanted to surprise you. You've decided not to ever take me out, so I decided to take myself. And you think that wasn't extreme? <sighs> ah, ah, baby. You don't take this too far. Huh? I'm pressed. I'll be with you, Shani. Cheating on you. I don't understand. Shut up! Mirabel, so you're cheating on me. Right? I, I don't know what you're talking about, baby. I'm not. You're dinner. <laughs> I complained that you are cheating on me. I would like to know why. Your Majesty, I am not cheating on my husband. 
And I will never do such. Lies! That is, she's lying. And you, be careful with me. Be careful! Daddy, she went out yesterday to see a man. After which she returned 10 in the night. Claiming she went shopping. I kept quiet to that. Until her phone rang. I picked it up. I heard a male voice. He said, Hello, my love. Are you home? The same voice called her sweet heart. Daddy, is it not a clear indication I am sharing my wife with another man? Mirabel, who was the man that called you on the phone? My ex boyfriend. He came back from Canada a week ago and he asked to see me. So I went to see him. You went to see him without your husband's consent? Your Majesty, he told me that he got me some goodies. I decided to go and pick them up. So you went to see him just because of the goodies he got for you? Mirabel, are you that cheap? Wouldn't you have told your husband to get you those goodies instead of risking your marriage? You see, my queen, that's the problem I always have with Afam. Each time I beg him to take me out for shopping, he makes it an issue. Mm. Afam, is that true? Mommy, you know I don't like going out. Oh. I am not the outdoor type. Mm -hmm. Take your wife to your room and iron out things with her. Apply strategy rather than brutal strength. Greatness is never achieved through violence. You're a newly married couple. I wouldn't want to hear anymore that you're fighting each other. Is that understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Mirabel, you may go. Thank you, my king. Hey. Go and iron out things with you. I resolve out issues. Patience. Peace, you know. And put up strategy. a little problem. You need to stop calling me. For now, for now, please. See, my husband is beginning to suspect me. I wouldn't want him to know that, that I'm having an affair. Yes, yes. You need to end the calls for now. Okay. I'll call you back. So you have decided to return to the world. You're still talking to that guy, right?
What was that? Do you hear that? Yes. Maybe it's in the room. What's happening? It is that idiot that calls himself Afamev that will die. You won't go back to that house again until he comes back here and beg and vow never to touch you again. Okay? Sorry. 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 Let me take you inside of the okay? Get up. Sorry. I can't Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 She escaped through the side gates. Okay, you may all return to your duty, precious. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't know why. You children of these days do not listen to or take your parents' advice. See what has happened to you within two months of your wedding. What has happened to your marriage? I purposely let you go on with it. So that you will see that all that glitters is not good. If you had married your mother, you would not have had that blister on your head. Daddy, I am so sorry I disappeared. I never saw it come. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Dad. Sorry. We are deeply sorry. 
we have learned from our mistakes and we will correct the ones that need to be corrected. Forgive us. Son, nobody sees the coming of his death. The sound of the drum is not determined by the strength of the drummer. You are lucky you are still alive. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. A fool learns from his own mistakes. I hope that we will not be a fool a second time. Well, to ace, you know, and to forgive is divine. The mogul. Greetings, Marzia Jikema. My prince, you are in our house. My prince, you're welcome. I hope we are safe. You all are safe. I came to apologize to Iroma for being so unfair to her. Iroma, I am so sorry for the way I have treated you. Forgive me and forgive my mother too. We were carried away by our wrong decisions. Forgetting that all that glitters is not gold. I beg you before your parents, please forgive me. I am so sorry. Well, my prince, I have forgiven you. Yes, my daughter does not keep malice. She forgave you long time ago. Thank you very much. My prince, we have seats. Please make yourself comfortable. You're welcome. Thank you very much. What do I offer you? Um, just a glass of water. No. Oh. Thank you. No, Thank, you Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Mm-hmm. Huh? Eh? <laughs> How is uh, Igwe? He's fine. He's doing great. And how about you and your family? We're fine. We're fine, my prince. I can see. <laughs> Your position of power to insult people because nobody knows tomorrow. No one knows who will be favored by God tomorrow. Humble yourself. Oh, humble yourself. So, how did it go, son? Was she at home when you got there? Yes. And she accepted my apology. That's good. I knew she would. Iroma is a good girl with a heart of gold. Indeed. Yes. Tomorrow I'll invite her father, Ejigeme, to come for a discussion. Meanwhile, well, Sonny, you play your own role well. Try not to make the same mistake twice. I got him with Dan Dada Nabo. I go for Bunubono. Love a rapprochement, loving, caring. It's okay, Dad. It's okay. Uh, once beaten, twice shy. That's good. I'm going to keep my game up tight this time around. My eyes are clear. <laughs> That's good. Now, 
You are really acting like the true son of your father. Yes. Thank you, Dad. Good. Let me go up and freshen up. Yes, yes, indeed. Take it up. <laughs> Ejikam and my very good friend. I had always wanted fate to link our two families together. My first attempt to work it out was terminated by something. But that's not over. So I'd like my son and your daughter to continue from where they stopped. Uh, but your majesty, does the prince want to marry two wives? Because I know that he is married to a beautiful girl that once came to my house to warn my daughter. <laughs> You're right, H. Gamer. But the fact is that Afamifuna could not live with that girl. So they parted ways. Hunkinimin, is that the situation? That is why I would like you to talk to your daughter so that she does not continue with the notion that Afamifuna is still married to that girl. I will try my best, Your Majesty. And you can, eh? No qualities here, Okay. I learned you have a brother. Yes, my prince. Where is he? I have not seen him around. <sighs> my brother is in the police cell, my prince. What happened? Did he commit any crime? He impregnated a girl and ask her to abort it. A few days after the abortion, the girl died. Oh. The mother came here with some policemen and arrested him. Hmm. That's so sad. How long has he been there? Almost three months. If not that the money the police officers are demanding is too much, we would have paid him long ago. How much did they demand? 250,000 Naira. Oh. Is it to a police station? What is his name again? Obiose GK Moa. Papa, you called me. Uh, yes, my daughter. Um, the prince was uh, here earlier today, right? Yes, Papa. Did he tell you anything? Papa, anything like what? Uh, here he is no longer married to that girl that came here some time ago to warn you. Why? I learned that the girl has a very bad character. That's why the prince could not stay with, with her. Anyway, that's what I wanted you to know. Let me take this place inside. Okay, Papa. Mm -hmm. ah. 
So, son, have you told Iroma your plans? No, mom. I need to solve her problem before I do that. What problem is this? Her elder brother has been in our police station for months now. The same one that was brought here because he stole someone's goods? Yes. Did he steal again? No, mom. He impregnated a girl this time. Forced her to abort it. Unfortunately, the girl died after the abortion. So the mother arrested her. Huh? Hmm. Yes, I know of that case. I've heard about that case. What do we do now? Well, I think I can solve it. Alpha Mefuna, what's the name of the boy again? Um, Obiozo Eji, Eji, Obiozo Eji Kemowa. Ah, Obiozo Eji Kemowa. Son of a white tapa. Oh, okay. I'll call the DP of Rose Station and arrange for his release. I will also call the woman who lost her daughter and try and reconcile the two families. Yes. Thank you very much, Dad. Thank you. Hmm. Did you get my son? You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Thank you. No. You're welcome, Prince. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, <coughs> ma'am. How are you? Hmm? How many is it? My mom and my mom, Prince Bill. Hey. hey, my prince. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Actually, it was my dad who bailed you. He called the DPO and asked him to release you. Hey, I see. No wonder you were asking me for his details yesterday. <laughs> I should have known that you have a plan. <laughs> Thank you so much, my Thank prince. You, my, prince. <laughs> my prince, God will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Papa. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> my prince, Daluko. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey. <laughs> 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 Um, my father told me that you're no longer with your wife. I'm sorry about that. You don't have to pity me. It was my mistake that got me into that. If I had listened to my father's advice, I wouldn't have gotten myself into that. Iroma. I'm so sorry about the way I've treated you. I have come to ask for forgiveness. Just like the prodigal son who squandered his father's wealth did. Asked his father for forgiveness and his father forgave him. Please, Iroma. From the bottom of my heart, I beg you to please forgive me. I promise never ever to let you down. Just give me that chance to make things right again. Please. My prince. The love I have for you is still intact. Nothing has changed. Oh my God. Yoma. 
I am ready. Whenever you are ready. <sighs> Iroma, you are such an angel in disguise. Your Majesty. Irama, how are you? I'm very fine, Your Majesty. I want you to forget about what transpired. I was wrong. It's okay, Your Majesty. I have forgotten everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hey. Thank you very much. Onye ma iye chikabu Owe onye ma isika kweze Echi Echi dime My daughter, take this drink and show us who is going to be your husband. Bam!
children. God has blessed your union today. He said. He said. You will have children as many as you can train. You will have prosperity. You will have peace. And you will have progress. It is well with you.
To help others 